Sandra Rinomato and this month on Realty Savvy, let's talk about up and coming areas and how to identify them. Here's what you should look for. Number one, follow the artists. Many artists look for affordable housing and inspiring surroundings. We've seen this in many cities now. They'll go into the less desirable neighborhoods and slowly the area becomes beautified or gentrified. You'll see the trendy coffee shops and art galleries opening and that'll give people new reasons to visit that part of town. Then come the young people. They'll move in because they can't get into the market anywhere else. Then families appear and voila, the neighborhood just up and came. Number two, look for nice neighbors and proximity to hip neighborhoods. If there's a pocket of desirable neighborhoods and a black sheep neighborhood nearby, chances are those established neighborhoods will expand into that neighborhood and push property values up. Number three, look for development. If you build it, they will come. If the government or an investment company thinks it's worth the risk to invest in a new area, it means A, that they are probably right, and B, they will do everything they can to make that neighborhood successful to protect their investment. This might also mean a shift in bylaws and zoning in those areas, making development legal. Think previous industrial buildings and warehouse converting to lofts or government offices. On a smaller scale, if every other house on the street is being renovated, you know the area is hot and people have an interest in protecting its future as well. Number five, look for a strong BIA. These groups want a neighborhood to succeed and they work with businesses to encourage growth in the neighborhood. This means a lot of announcements, renovating and flipping, new businesses, all within a short time frame. Number six, of course, talk to an expert or a realtor because they have the down low on what's coming up. And number seven, an area that's experiencing bigger increases in values than they have historically or in the past, and this might be caused by developments. We have seen this in cities across the country, and there you have it. This is Sandrina Maddo. Thanks for listening, and remember to join me again next month for another Realty Savvy podcast right here in Focal Point E-News.